oh, I'm stressed. I'm overwhelmed. I can't do this. There's too much to do. There's so many things I got to get done. Do you feel like that? Because here in the last month is what I felt like. I started my Sensi business in 2020, in May of 2020. It's wow. It's been a whirlwind of fun. So that's like three and a half years. And in the beginning, when I started Sensi, it was so easy. It was post order, post order. Oh my gosh. I had so many customers. My VIP went up to like a thousand in months. Uh, I mean, it was crazy. I was doing all these things. Orders, when they started coming in, they were coming in like every other day because I was placing orders every other day. It was crazy busy. It was so much fun. It was so fast, so easy. And then I, my team just started building. I mean, honestly, they started building on themselves. I could ask them like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I want to join. Oh yeah. I want to sign up. Oh yeah. I want a free kit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like it was so fast, so easy. Um, I hit director in like four months. Um, I had a team of 74 in four months of starting Cincy. And that of course was during the pandemic. It's when everybody was the pandemic buying. Everybody had all this extra money and all this extra stuff. So they, it wasn't a big deal joining. Sure. Because they were, they themselves were placing two, $300 orders every single month. So they were getting their 20% back. They were hitting every single goal. They were hitting shooting star. They were hitting um, sensational starts level one, two, and three. Um, they were getting promotions left and right because every time they asked someone if they wanted to um, do Cincy with them, it was amazing. It was easy. The problem is whenever it gets easy in any business, we lose sight of the fundamentals and the basics. So what I've realized over the last three and a half years is that I've just been coasting through off of what happened in 2020. And maybe some of you are feeling that way too. Um, I'm going to kind of go through what my story is and like how I've gotten to the point I'm at. So I am Cassie Bollinger. My team is hashtag no limit y'all. Um, again, I hit director in four months, lost that title three or four times, and I still haven't gotten it back. I honestly haven't even been paid it title in months as a superstar consultant. It happens. You go through ups and downs in your business, and this will happen no matter if you started in 2020 or after or even before. The things about our businesses is that there are the basics that you have to build your entire business on. And if you don't get into the habit early, you'll end up being like me and having to relearn your entire business from the bottom up. And that happened. Um, when I started, it was May of 2020. Um, my sponsor had asked me two or three times and I kept saying no. Um, I lost my job in, in March. And so I had gone um, half of March, April, and it was like the late part of May that I signed up. And I honestly told her that I was only going to do this for the three months. The website was free. If I couldn't pay for the website, then I wasn't going to continue this business. Well, since then, I've never had to worry about paying for my website. It's I've always made more than that. Um, my team is smaller now. My team is a team of 30. Um, again, I lost the director title. I can't, I mean, so many times there were so many excuses on why I didn't succeed. Um, I didn't get training for my upline. I mean, that's, that was always kind of like the one I held on to, um, all the Cincy trainings that I was eligible for to go face to face. I wasn't able to go because everything was shut down. There was no travel. There was no face on face or face to face on any of that stuff. And they weren't doing virtual trainings for directors and above at the time. They were just like, Hey, no problem. You can just come later. So I have tons of excuses on why I did not keep my director title, but bottom line, it's me. It was me. I didn't know how to party. I didn't know how to get in front of people. I didn't even realize that the parties, and I always put parties, I'm going to do air quotes on this because a party is not a party. I always do social events. I do scent occasions. I do um, a lot of online um, interactions with people and they get reward links and shopping links because they can accumulate free and half price items. So it was always kind of a one-on-one. -on -one. And as I've looked back into basic trainings, like even through the workstation, um, through YouTube, through the Facebook groups on all of their trainings, the one thing I realized was 
that I don't party because it was never a necessity in my business. It was easier for me one-on-one to be able to connect with someone. They wanted to place an order. Their order was always large. It was always like a hundred to two hundred dollars. So then I was like, hey, if you hit over two hundred, then we can put this in like I can put this in and you can activate the rewards. It was amazing. It was easy. It was um, if someone said no, I was okay with that because I'd go for the no's. I would get no after no, and then I'd get yes, 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 yes. And then I'd get no, no, no. And then I'd get yes, 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 yes. Like it just kept getting bigger and bigger. Slowly, my business grew amazingly. It did. I, I hit every single incentive um, up until about 2021. So all through 2020, I hit every incentive. Um, I hit, I was annuals. I mean, annual sales for first two years, 2020, 2021. It was easy peasy. Hitting 30,000 in sales, I was hitting it by like February, um, then March. And then it was like April. It was a push. Oh, that last year I got it. It was such a push. And then I didn't hit it last year. So 2022 to 2023, I did not hit annual sales. And I wasn't even close. Like when I talk about I wasn't close, you know, it'd be different if I was like, oh yeah, I I missed it by like $200. No, I didn't even get halfway. Why? Because I was so focused on the one-on-one the, the, like just talking to a person, having them place an order, putting it on a party, um, letting someone else get the rewards or me being able to give away and uh, like a zero out of pocket kit. That was just basically the, the sole purpose of any order that I was getting. I've been watching a lot of different trainings here lately. And I, I, I maybe you're as overwhelmed as I am. I mean, because I'm, ugh, I'm like, overwhelmed trying to figure out where the basics are at. One thing that I never did is I never set up a schedule for me to do certain things in my office. I work home. I work at home um, at my other full-time job because since he's my full-time job and then I have a second full-time job and I utilize my office and I'm, I'm focused for a period of time. But there's a lot of stuff that I'm doing. Like I, I'm sitting here and I'm I'm working. I'm like, oh yeah, I can make a Canva. I can I can do this template here and I can do this here. And oh, I saw someone else's template. I can print that off. And I love doing Happy Mail and I love being able to print off all that stuff. But then it becomes very overwhelming. Um, the one thing that is probably the only reason that my business has survived the way that it has is my follow up. But even my follow up, because I had so many people isn't even on par of where it should be. My conversations were very flat. And thank you so much for your order. Um, I appreciate you. Um, Bye bye now. And it wasn't intentional. It it wasn't, it was just thanking them for the order because they placed it online or they gave me the order. And I'm like, thank you so much. I'll let you know when it ships or I'll let you know when you can come pick it up. Um, I'll let you know this and that. And that was it. But it was never really checking on my customers. It was never like, actually building a relationship with them. Now, there are some customers of mine that have become some of my best friends. And the reason why is because they kept the conversation going and we started talking about our families and our jobs and our kids. And, you know, one thing led to another and they ended up, you know, partnering with me and and starting their own Cincy business as well. But it was more or less them because since 2020 and since the pandemic and my face-to-face and my mental health has not been where it should be. It is definitely lacking a lot of interaction. There's a lot of things in my life that changed in 2020. um, And there's a lot of things that changed in 2021, 2022, and even this year. And I know our businesses will grow and they, they fluctuate, they go ups and they have their downs. And then, but sometimes the downs feel like they're down, like we are down, down. And how do you come back from that? How do you get back to that part where we're at? Well, it's just like anything else that you have to go back to the basics. Whenever you've gotten so in your head and you've gotten so like tongue twisted or, or, you know, your ideas are way out here, but you don't have any focus on them is where you need to sit down and start to focus. Um, One of the trainings I was watching the other day, 
they did a breakdown of the things to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's going to look different for everybody else. And I, I basically took their list and I kind of started to break, like just brainstorm what works for me. What do I want to do in my business? How do I want to restart this or rebuild what I started in the beginning? Now, it all boils down to your customers. Like, where are you even at with your customers? Um, that was my gut check of like, you know, I send messages to them all the time. My VIPers, I love them to death. But this last month, the month of October, I've only had two people order from my website the whole month. Then I have some Cincy Clubbers. So those process through. So those are ones that I, I normally have to reach out to get, you know, Cincy mm -hmm. Clubbers are great. Um, but it's just kind of one of those things. I better turn this down before it goes nuts. Um, one of those things that I am realizing is that other than, hey, how's it going? Did you know that XYZ is releasing on XYZ? And if you get one, two, three, then you can get three, uh, four, five, six. I mean, my relationships with my customers have gotten to the point where it's very unpersonable. Even though I check in on them, how's everything going? It hasn't really been flowing. And it's the same way with my team. Um, the disconnect of just like, hey, is there anything you need help with? I, I've, I've lost that connection with most of them because the people that started with me back in 2020, and a lot of them are still around. Um, there's quite a few that have taken like their Cincy business has taken, you know, a back burner and that's okay because Cincy's around forever. So if you decide to not work your business right now, or it becomes not as much fun, then taking time off and step away from it is perfectly okay because you can always come back for free. You can always reactivate your account um, and get started again when it becomes better timing for you. But I've done a lot of disservice to a lot of my teamies that I've had prior. And I probably will do disservice to my teamies in the future. I don't know. Like, I want to be a better leader. I want to be a better mentor. I also want to be a better friend. Um, I've lost a lot of friendships. And one of my struggles that I had is that I was drinking a lot. So I, um, it's been almost a year and a half. I've been sober and I'm starting to find my footing with the people that stuck around. I've been trying to find my footing with the people that um, checked up on me or interacted with me. Uh, those type of things were something that I didn't get a lot of when I was drinking a lot. Like people weren't checking on me. They just wanted to know when I was getting to the bar. Um, they were just wanting to know if they could get a ride. Um, they were just wanting to tell me the drama or ask me what the drama was. But, you know, so it was one of those things is that when I've realized that my business started to become stable is when I took a real hard look at myself. And so I'm doing, and I do that about once a year. And it seems to be October seems to be the month for me for to really hyper-focus on my business. I think it's because we've kind of gotten through that first part of the releases of the, the new fall and winter catalog, the, the harvest collection release, and then the, the, the holiday collection release, and then all the little things that come in between there. And then it's like, okay, we don't have any major, major releases. We still have our weekly releases, but we don't have like a major brochure of collections to come out. I think this is when I take that time to look. So in that training, um, they had talked about uh, just moving some stuff into a certain order. That way I knew what day I needed to do something. And that way I also knew that I, I knew what I needed to focus on. Now, does that mean that that's the only thing I can do for the day? No. But it does give me some ideas of how can I focus on my business? And then I need to do time blocking. I need to do like, it's going to be this for an hour or this for 30 minutes or this for 15 minutes. It's going to be more specific. So I'm intentional with the time that I am using on Sensi instead of being like, okay, uh, let me just see if I can scroll through Facebook to find an idea, or maybe I can get into one of the groups and they can, you know, something's going to light a fire and I'm going to be able to run with it. 
And a lot of times what I've been doing here lately is it's kind of like throwing spaghetti against the wall and seeing what's going to stick. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Am I going to be consistent with it? I don't know. Because I have so much stuff going on. So one of the things was, is like breaking down the days into categories and then kind of breaking it down week by week during our month. Because, you know, as you all know, the first of the month, we start, every single one of us starts at zero. We all have zero PRB when the month starts. After that, it's totally up to you on what you get. So if you're not working on the basic fundamentals, which is sales, sponsoring, and recruiting, those are going to be your basic fundamentals, but breaking those three down into something that is easier and obtainable throughout the month. Now, it's not just mean like you spend one day for sales and then after that, you can't do any other days. It's more or less, it's like, you need to have those days for sponsoring. You need to have those days for recruiting. You need to have those days set up that you are doing those and those days you're intentional. Your sales are going to be broken down because there's so many different ways to get sales. And honestly, I'm not a salesperson. I just know what I love. I love the products. I can sit there and, and be like, oh my gosh, I love the pods because, you know, and I can go through, or I love the scent or I use, you know, I can talk about products all day long. And that's where a lot of my sales come through because I get very excited when I do the videos. I do very excited when I go live um, because I am excited. As you can kind of see behind me, I love the buddies. So when I get a new buddy in, I love it. I absolutely love it. Like my eyes light up. I get overly excited and I show them and then I tell them why it means something to me because I'm just telling them just like I would a friend. Like why, you know, if someone said, why did you get the little mermaid? And I'm like, oh you kidding me? The mermaid was like my favorite movie growing up. It was my top number one. And then, you know, cause I have a lot of movies that I've watched, but the Disney movies have always had a place in my heart. And so us having a, a, an agreement with Disney and being able to get all these princesses and then they have warmers that have been starting to come out and then they have more buddies coming out. And so for me, it's just always been like, it's Christmas. Every single time a package comes because half the time I always forget what's coming or when's coming because I could order something Monday and order something Wednesday and the one from Wednesday shows up, but then the one from Monday was coming just after that. And so I never remember which one I'm getting, or I don't sit there and, and stock each one of them when they show up. I'm like, yay. And then if I realize, oh, it's been a little bit, I need to check on that order. So there's not really been a pattern. There's not really been a schedule. There's not really a way for me to check up on anything because I really don't know what's going on in my business. And you're going to hit that point. Maybe you haven't yet. Maybe you already have. And maybe you have some tips that you can share with us. So you can drop that down below in the comments and let us know like when, like, did you hit that part where you just didn't know what else to do in your business and you didn't know what was going on? And maybe you can give a suggestion on how to fix it. So I love watching YouTube videos and I love being able to watch other people that are successful in my industry and in other similar industries. And I always take bits and pieces. I never try to duplicate everything. I try to just take like, ooh, that would work for me in my business because um, like I don't have a huge team anymore. You know, we have a team of 31. Um, I don't have the 74. I definitely don't have the 800 or a thousand. So for me to connect with my team, it wouldn't take me the whole month to get to everybody. It would just be breaking it down to hitting five, six a day, maybe seven. Um, there are some people that have joined um, underneath of me that really and truly flat out said, I just got it for the kid. You don't need to check on me. And that's okay. I don't check on them. Um, I do when the seasons change, let them know that we are getting a new catalog. Um, and I do, so probably it's not every month. It's probably like every quarter. I do check on them just to be like, Hey, um, you know, just letting you know, I'm still here. And if you have any questions, um, if you want to dig into your business, just let me know. Um, but I want to have a day that I worry, um, not worry I, that I work on my team that I'm like. I dig into my team and I see who needs to be worked with. And I, I check with them to see if there are certain trainings to have them duplicate the things that I'm implementing or have implemented in my business. Um, one of the other things was then having a day for customers. 
a day that I do where I would like intentionally do follow-ups, um, check in, have a system of being like, you know, on Monday morning, you know, I go through and I check to see what everybody's done for the last week. Like how many orders have I gotten in this last week? So then I'm checking like back weekly, but then I also want to make sure that I'm still checking back with those other customers um, or maybe people that need reorders. Um, I wouldn't want to check on them every day. I want to like, if they bought a six pack of wax, I check on them in a couple of weeks. And then if they're like, no, I still have, I've only gone through one bar. Then I kind of, kind of can calculate when I need to check back in with them again. Um, so that would be like the intentional thing of doing for the customers is, is kind of going through and being specific on when do I need to check back with Susie Q? When does Susie Q need to have a follow-up? She's only buying wax. Um, she doesn't want to try any of the other products. What can I do for Susie? And then I can customize something for Susie on a plan of like, I want to check in with her once a month and just see how her wax is doing. Um, make sure she knows about the cotton cleanups, give her some tips and tricks about how to store. Um, and there's going to be other customers that will fall in that category. Then we have other ones that don't just buy wax that maybe they get some of the cleaning products. Well, how often are they ordering them? Could it be something that Scentsy Club would be beneficial? So I need to do a Scentsy Club check of who needs to go into Scentsy Club because they're consistently doing certain things or other ones that maybe it's not about um, going in to Scentsy Club. Maybe I need to check to see how their Scentsy Club is going. Is there a way, do they need to edit? So that's kind of the specifics that I want to go in through with my customers and just see if there is maybe a way for me to connect better with them to be more of service. I mean, that's what it all boils down to is just customer service. Like what can we do for our customers to make their experience amazing? Like kind of showing them a little part of what our joy is and why we even became a consultant. Um, the, another one was, um, doing a day to do trainings or to do, um, pictures or recordings for my reels or my videos or my team trainings, um, and picking one day to do those. Um, and that way I can like, how many do I want to do for the week? And then what content do I want to cover? Um, and then breaking those down into what needs to be done on a weekly basis. Do I need to have five videos every week or do I need to have five videos a month? So that means at one session, I could do two videos and then the other ones, I just have one. So that's where you kind of need to break down of like how you need to split them up. And the it all just boils down to being consistent. It's being consistent. Um, I spend my Sundays scheduling my posts for the entire week in my VIP, but I never stop to actually schedule posts on my business page or on my personal page. So that's something I want to implement. So maybe Sunday's my day to kind of think of what's going on this week and I'll start posting them, but it'll be from Monday to Sunday. So that way I have a day that I have a little bit of leeway. If something happens, then I can still get the stuff scheduled by Monday. So that's where I'm at. Uh, that's where my business has led me is to realize that the connections are growing, but they're not the same as they were because I'm actually wanting to be intentional with connecting with my customers, with the stuff that they want, the stuff that they need, and maybe the stuff that I have been slacking on on checking up with them. Um, so as I go through, I uh, really don't know how it's all going to look, but I want to be more intentional with my business. I want to grow my business back to the basics. So one of those things back to the basics is partying. It's having that in-person scent um, for them to smell it. Um, it's doing the pouch parties or um, the I, I was calling my sample bags. And they can have a couple of the products. There's some catalogs in there, some order forms. And so that way, if they share it with their friends, they can look at it. They can see what the product looks like or smells like or how it works and then go from there. Um, and then, of course, is upping my Facebook party game. Um, I like to do Facebook in my like in my VIP, but I need to find the easier way to do it for my customers or even for a new teamie if they're needing help doing their launch party. So those broken down and those different things that I want to do 
is going to be my goal. Um, so maybe this is something that you can comment below and like, tell me how you break your business up. Do you have certain days for things or are you, are you like me and running with your head cut off like a chicken with the head cut off? Like you're just running sporadically and just kind of ping ponging off of whatever's going on. And again, this is all just, it's a fluid business. It's going to have ups and downs. You're going to have times that you have that you can do certain things, but then you're going to have times other times that it's going to feel overwhelming. And just remember, you're not alone. You're not alone. It takes a village to run any business. You can ask any business owner of any type that it's not just one person all the time. It takes a village. And so if you are already a Sensei consultant and you're not even sure where to start, you are more than welcome to comment below or find me on Facebook. I'm Cassandra Bollinger, um, or you can find me on Instagram um, and we can connect and I, maybe I can help you. Um, maybe you have some suggestions for me. I'm open to any suggestions because I'd love to be able to grow my business and find something that works for me. Now, anytime that you watch any of my videos, do understand that duplicating exactly what I do will not work for you unless you have a brain like mine, because I'll tell you what, it goes 95,000 miles a minute and it never stops. Even when I sleep, I swear. So you don't really want my chaotic life, but we can always share different ideas and then you can cherry pick which ones that you think would work for you, your lifestyle and your business. I hope that you got something out of today. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. This is, I really just felt pulled to do this training today and I hope that it has touched one of you um, or maybe given you an insight that you are not alone because I promise there's been times that I felt like I was completely alone. But I always leave you guys with this. I love you all. I hope you have an amazing day. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel so you can keep following me on my journey through Cincy and the journey of life. Um, who knows what everything is going to, how everything's going to like uh, play out. I don't know. Like life's crazy, but I love where I'm at right now. And I just want to be the best I can be. And all I can do is compete with myself. I'm just competing with myself from yesterday. And guess what? The girl yesterday, she was crying and she was tired. And the girl today is like, I got you. Let's keep going. So don't forget that you are strong. You are worthy and you are important. And just know that there's no limit, y'all. Bye, guys.